Hello, welcome back to Media B Color Lab. Today we are diving deep into the heart of color grading. Did you know that about 80% of the magic in color grading happens in the first few notes? That's right, it's all about setting the right foundation with your contrast and balance. In this tutorial, we'll focus exclusively on these essential elements using DaVinci Resolve's built-in tools. We'll explore different options to adjust contrast, achieve perfect balance, and also set the tone for your footage right from the start. Whether you are a beginner looking to understand the basics or an experienced colorist aiming to refine your skills, this session is packed with insights and practical tips. So get ready to transform your raw footage into visual stunning narratives, all within the first few steps of our grading workflow. Let's dive in. Today we are working with red footage. First, let's quickly go over our project settings. Here you can see my master settings and in the color management I set my color science to DaVinci YRGB. Our timeline color space is set to DaVinci Intermediate and the output color space is Reg 709 Gamma 2.4. Okay, now let's add our input and output CSD nodes to get our footage to a good starting point. As usual, in the first node, we'll convert from the camera source, which is red log in this case, to DaVinci White Gamut Intermediate. Then for the output, we'll convert back from DaVinci Intermediate to Reg 709 Gamma 2.4. All our grading will be done between these two nodes, as DaVinci White Gamut color space gives us a more flexible and dynamic range to work with, allowing uh, for richer color manipulations and more precise uh, adjustments. Okay, now let's add two nodes for balance and contrast. These will be our primary grading nodes, where we'll handle the largest portion of our grading today. Let's start with contrast. In this node, I'll demonstrate uh, all the tools DaVinci provides for contrast adjustments, uh, sharing my thought process as I grade the image. You can think of it as a live procedure where we'll explore what works well and what doesn't. First, one of the key tools for adjusting contrast is the lift, gamma, and gain wheels under the primary panel. By observing the waveform, it feels like we can bring down the highlights a bit, as there isn't a visible light source. Let's adjust that. Okay, now that we've toned down the highlights, our subject appears somewhat underexposed. To fix this, Let's slightly lift the gamma to brighten the mid-tones. There we go. Uh, we can think of this as exposure adjustment as well. Okay, it looks better to me, but we're still lacking some contrast. A handy tool for this is the contrast and pivot uh, knobs, again located under the primary panel. Let's increase the contrast a bit and then fine-tune it with the pivot to get the balance just right. Okay, let's see the difference. Even better now, right? Yet there is another key tool we can tweak, I think. The curve. Let's dive into the curves panel and make some precise adjustments to further refine our image's contrast and overall look. We'll start with the shadows. Don't forget, as I grade, my eyes are on the waveform to avoid uh, crushing the blacks. Okay, now let's lift the highlights a bit. Good, let's toggle it on and off again. Perfect, now the image has really started to come alive. Okay, there is one final tool we can use for contrast, the log wheels, again located under the primary panel. Looking at the waveform, I see that the blacks here can be brought down a bit more, right until the gray line just above the zero level. Let's do it with the log wheel. Let's take one more look. Perfect. As you can see, using these four tools, we've given our image a more contrasty and dynamic look. Now we can move on to the balance node, where we will further craft our look. 
In the balance note, the first thing I want to address is the shadows, as I notice some red overcast. Just like with the contrast adjustments, we can use our primary wheels for this. Let's slightly lower the red under the lift wheel, just slightly. Okay, but I want to keep the highlights still warm, so I'll increase the red channel there slightly. So just like this, you can play with these different channels to further craft your image and get your desired look. Uh, but I want to stop here and move on to the curve panel uh, to show you how I use that one uh, for this purpose. One of the cool features here is that we can separate the RGB channels to adjust them individually. Let's separate them and start with the red channel. As you can see, there is still a red spill uh, in our image, uh, especially in the shadows. So let's bring them down in the curves. And now let's do the opposite for highlights. Let's see the difference. Much better, right? Now I want to increase the greens and blues in the highlights to achieve some split toning. Okay, now let's see how far we've come. Perfect. Maybe it's a little too contrasty and dark, but for now I want to keep it this way and deal with it at the end. Okay, now, as I mentioned at the beginning, the primer grading we've done so far should cover about 80% of your overall grade. It is always essential to get this foundation right. Now, for a bonus, let's explore the new Film Look Creator that you can find in WG Resolve's uh, Studio version. I'll show you how to enhance our image further using the split toning feature here. Let's see how that goes. Looking great. Finally, let's add my secret sauce, the Soften and Sharpen tool. This will help us fine-tune the image's texture, uh, adding just the right touch of sharpness or softness to enhance the final look. And there you have it. We've gone through the essential steps of color grading, from setting up our initial notes to applying the final touches with our primary grading adjustments. I hope you find these techniques helpful and that you can incorporate them into your own projects to enhance your visuals. As always, don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment if you have any questions or want to share your thoughts. Your feedback always helps us create better content for you. Thanks for watching and happy grading!